What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Enrique and I'm a freelance filmmaker and photographer. I also do video and photo editing tutorials. This channel is created to express myself and my passion in filmmaking and photography. In this video, I'll show you how to do a 2D parallax effect. Parallax is an effect whereby the position or direction of an object appears to differ when viewed from the different positions through the viewfinder or the lens of the camera. In this effect, we'll be working with these footages, the background, the subject, and the drone footage. If you don't have any available footages, feel free to download these footages on the link I provided below. First, we will start with this footage and we need to isolate the subject from its background using Photoshop. And to do that, I'm gonna use a quick selection tool. To use this selection tool, just highlight the subject that you want to isolate. Drag the cursor inside the subject to add selection. And if you happen to touch the area that you don't want to be affected, simply click Alt plus drag to subtract selection. In this process, always pay attention to the small details. Once you already highlighted the subject, Click the Refine Edge tool, check the Smart Radius, change the value to around 2 pixel, go to the Output and select New Layer. Then check the Contaminate Color to remove the color traces from the background to the subject. Then click OK. And BAM! The subject is now being isolated from the background. Next, control and click to the subject layer. Highlight the background layer. Go to edit. Fill. And select content aware fill. Then hit OK. Content aware fill fills in the background and removes the subject by getting details from the surrounding areas. Then BAM! The subject is now removed from our background. Next, Ctrl plus D to deselect. This time, we now only have the background, but there are still some traces of our subject. To remove this, what I do is I use the patch tool. To use this tool, simply select the area that you want to be removed by encircling it and drag it into the area that you want to copy. Then BAM! We now only have the subject and the background. So, uh, let me rename this layer as a subject so that we will not be confused later on. Next, place the subject in our second background by simply dragging it and rescale it in a size that would fit it in the second background. Next, we can now open our drone footage and place it in the foreground. Make another copy and place it in the background. After that, we can now open the After Effects and import all the footages that we have created. 
when this box appears, select Composition in the Import kind and enable Layer Styles in Layer option. Then hit OK. Create new composition and I will name it as 2D Parallax Effect. On a frame rate, I will choose 23.976 frames per second or 24 frames per second, a standard cinematic frame rate. Then I will select resolution into a quarter in order to speed up my rendering because my PC is not that fast. Then for the duration, I will make it 10 seconds because this effect is not that long. Drag all the layers on the timeline. Make all the layers 3D by clicking the 3D layer box. Create a camera. Right click on this area, new, then hit camera. For the focal length, I will select 35mm. Then hit OK. As you can see, these layers are flat and on the same focal distance. It's because they are on the same positions and scale. So what we're gonna need to do is place each of them on a 3D plane on a different depth. To do that, make the view layout into two views and change the active camera into a custom view. So we can now clearly see the coordinates of these layers into a 3D plane. Select each layer and place them in different positions and scales. This time, I'm gonna select the background layer and move it backwards on its z-axis. As you can see, the layer becomes small as it moves backward and leaves a black space on the scene. To correct this, simply scale it up until the black space is covered. Next, select the drone layer and place some of it on the foreground and some on the background by simply dragging it and playing on its Z or Y axis. Next, return the view layout into one view and check for its parallax effect. To do that, simply click C on the keyboard to activate the camera cursor and test the footage. See, the footage has now a parallax effect. Now, drag our first background into the timeline. Make it 3D by clicking the 3D layer box and place it under the subject layer. Rescale it until it fits with our subject. Then for the transition, apply luma key to the first background. and set the key type to key out darker. Click the threshold stopwatch and make a keyframe. Drag the value all the way up to 255. Change the position of time indicator into about a second and change the value of threshold into zero. See, we have now a fading effect of our first background. Next, go to a camera layer, hit the position stopwatch, then change the position of timeline indicator into about a second, and drag the value of the position all the way up to the right to zoom in with our subject. Highlight the keyframe, keyframe assistant, then click Easy Ease. Go to the graph editor, then make the curve look like this to make the transition seamless. Adjust the keyframe of the luma key 
until it fits with the transition scene. Then highlight, keyframe assistant, then click easy ease. To make it look that the drones are really part of the footage, apply some blur with it. And to do that, go to the effects and presets, look for Gaussian blur, and apply it to the drone layers. Adjust the blur value into about uh, 20. To make a looping effect of the scene, like zooming in and out, go to the camera layer, copy this keyframe, move into about a second, and paste it. Go to the first keyframe, copy and paste it into this position in the timeline. Then adjust the graph editor to make the transition seamless. Next, go to the first background layer with luma key, then make another keyframe into a position that will complement the zoom out transition. Next, color grade the footage. Then color the footage according to your preference. Lastly, turn on the depth of field in camera layer. Then apply motion blur. And that's it! You now have an animated photo using a parallax effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and make sure to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and clicking the notification bell in order for you to get updated on my new videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.